Hey guys, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. It's been um, about six weeks since my last video. Maybe, maybe five weeks. The reason for that, I just want to be completely transparent with you guys, is because I'm so busy, I don't have time to edit my videos, I don't have time to set up the whole thing, you know, the YouTube thing. And then I feel like, well, if I can't set it up for them, then what's the point? So instead of thinking that I had to set something up to make it look fancy for you guys, I just decided to film this video on my iPhone and we're just gonna go back to basics for this video because I wanna give you a little bit of an update. I wanna update you guys about my life. I miss you guys. So, yesterday was Thanksgiving. Not sure when I'm gonna put this video up. Maybe I can do it today. We'll see what happens. Yesterday was Thanksgiving and I had a very keto Thanksgiving thanks to my wonderful chef friend who I decided to spend Thanksgiving with. We had a turkey. Keto. Amazing. We had gravy that I made myself. I made the gravy with the giblets. It was a whole thing. I've never done that before but I did it. It was delicious. I also decided to make a cauliflower bake. I will link the recipe down below. I think that you should just eat this even when it's not Thanksgiving. It was so freaking good. My God, it was so good. And my friend made a green bean casserole, which also keto friendly, in moderation, of course. And oh, and we made a keto cheesecake. Oh, it was so good. So this was the first Thanksgiving. I can confidently say that I stuck to a diet plan, a nutrition plan, and didn't feel like I was depriving myself at all. My big thing, as you guys know, if you don't know, you're about to find out, I love potatoes. So the hardest thing about this Thanksgiving was realizing that I wasn't going to make mashed potatoes, I was gonna make mashed cauliflower, and the idea really depressed me until I made it and tried it, and it was pretty good. It definitely does not taste like mashed potatoes. Anyone who thinks that cauliflower tastes like mashed potatoes has no idea what they're talking about. But it was still very, very tasty. So I said I wanted to do a four week reset like six weeks ago. That was the last video, I think. And for those four weeks, I, I did keto for four weeks straight and I felt much better about my body. I did take some measurements and I will post them right here. So yeah, I lost some, I lost some inches. I decided not to weigh myself. The reason I decided not to weigh myself is because I, from past experience, know that it takes a little bit for the scale to move when I'm doing keto, but it doesn't mean that nothing is changing. So the inches are going down, I feel better. I also wanna say, I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, but typically I have heartburn, and when I do keto, my heartburn disappears. And I, I've tried to look up like why that is. If you have any idea why that would be, I would love for you to comment down below because it's just an interesting connection that I've drawn that when I do something low carb, I'm actually, my heartburn is going away and I feel really good. So I did that four week reset and then I decided to travel back to basically the place where I stayed at during the summer to spend Thanksgiving with my friend, to quarantine here. And uh, I'm, I'm glad I did that because I, I'm not gonna lie you guys, I, I've been feeling pretty lonely in my new home. And part of that is because of the pandemic. I don't have, as I've said before on this channel, I don't really have a way to meet new people in a safe way. And so the thought of spending Thanksgiving by myself was just kind of like too much for me. So I decided to basically drive back here uh, to the Midwest and celebrate Thanksgiving here. I'll probably stay for a couple of weeks um, before I decide basically what I'm doing for the, the Christmas break. This whole thing, this whole COVID thing during the holidays is so difficult and, and I think it is worth talking about briefly on this channel because the depression, the loneliness, the anxiety, all of it contributes to my uh, you know, overeating or my desire to eat foods that are going to be comforting, especially when I just don't feel like I'm 
I'm comfortable. I don't feel like emotionally okay. And so the easiest thing is to just go for the food, which I have to, I have to just say, that's kind of what I was doing when I, when I moved uh, three months ago and it was bad. It got bad. And I don't want that to happen again. I don't want that to, I don't, basically what I'm saying is when I go back to my new home and I'm alone again, I don't want to resort I don't want to revert back to those old habits. It's not worth it. I feel just much better when I'm I'm sticking to something, when I'm taking care of myself nutritionally. And, and for me, keto is the easiest way to do that. Again, I don't think that keto is a lifestyle choice for me. It's definitely something that kind of just for a little bit helps me to get off of the processed sugar. And um, eventually I want to introduce back those complex carbs, just have a more balanced lifestyle. I really want to do an exercise routine. I don't have my bike here, so the kind of exercise that I want to try to do and I want to try to convince my friend to go with me is there are a couple of hiking trails here. So even just like getting outside and walking and, and even though it's it snowed here the other day and it's going to continue to snow, but if you wear warm clothes, you can work out in the snow. So I, I think I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to get some form of exercise back into my routine starting uh, next week. I will then update you guys on how that's going. But yeah, the, the last thing that I guess I wanted to say was that I'm truly thankful. You know, this is the spirit of Thanksgiving, but I'm truly thankful for everybody who has reached out to me, who has said that they've missed seeing my face. I appreciate that. I don't understand that, but I appreciate that. And I am watching your videos and every so often, you know, that taking the time to comment on, you know, how your journeys are going. So I still, you know, really appreciate this community and who you all are. So um, everyone's inspiring in their own way and it helps keep me you know, going through all this. So I guess that's kind of all I wanted to say to you guys now. I wanted to just give you a little update on what's going on, and I hope to be able to do these little updates, these mini updates maybe. They're not as fancy. There's probably not going to be any music or cool edits or anything like that um, while I'm here. And uh, I hope that everybody's having a wonderful, a wonderful break right now. I'll see you guys next time.